Hi everyone and welcome back to Your English Classroom. Now before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that like button and join the class. All right, so we're going to be doing likes and dislikes today and how you express them in the English language. Now, let's look at the concept of love. Yep, we say I love. But what are the other ways that we can say it because we don't want to keep saying the same thing? We can say I adore, which also means I love. You like very much. What else could you say? You can also say, she's mad about. She's not actually mad. It just means she likes that thing a lot. We could also say, she's crazy about. She's crazy about. And also, we can say, he's obsessed with, or she is obsessed with. Again, a replacement for love. Okay, now what about just the like, the mild like? Not love, not hate, but in the middle. Okay, well, the first thing you can say is fond of, fond of, which is I like, it's just a replacement for. You can also say, I like it a lot. It's something you like a lot. You can also say, really like, you really like it. And quiet like, which is a mild like, but it's also a replacement for like. Okay, now, what if you're in between? You don't really like and you don't really hate. Well, you can say, I don't mind. It's a middle ground. You're not really, in, you're in between. You can also say, I don't really care either way. Either way, I'm not really fussed. Similarly, you can say, it's all the same to me. I'm in between. Okay, now what about those words for dislike, something you really don't like? I, he doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. Or, not a fan of, which means you don't really support that. You're not a supporter of it. Also, isn't, isn't my thing. It isn't my thing. And lastly, you can say, not fond of. Not fond of. And obviously, dislike guys, you should already know. Okay, so what about that thing you absolutely detest? Well, can't stand. You really don't like it, you say, can't stand. You can also say, can't bear. I can't bear to see it. Similarly, hate and detest, like I mentioned before. Another word for hate. And also loathe, which means you can't stand it at all. You don't want to see it. Now, there are some common mistakes you need to pay attention to. When you're talking and saying very much and a lot in these sentences, you need to make sure that it comes after and not before the like. So, for example, you'd say, I like reading very much. And that comes at the end. Hope that was a good lesson. Don't forget to hit the like button. and please.